Uh, one thing I noticed in my first uh, video blog when I looked back at it was the fact that uh, not knowing how the camera works on my computer, I realised I was cutting off the, the bottom half of what you were seeing. So there's me sort of gaily talking away about all these different buttons and sort of demonstrating them and you actually couldn't see them, which isn't exactly helpful and I'm supposed to be trying to help a beginner. So um, I'm going to come back and do a close up because that was actually quite good. Um, I left you with me very badly playing uh, the Oh Dear What Can The Matter Be, such a great cool tune. Um, and I was trying to tell you about how we started off on the D row and how I was counting down from the top. Um, and again, if you look at the chart, the very top diagonal row, which is all that row there, that starts off with uh, the third of E, which actually is an A flat. Then there's the E, which is the fundamental bass. And then they're all variations of E on the top row. So that's, that's the E, major, major, um, major chord, and then the minor chord, and the diminished chord, and, and so on and so forth. So um, from the E bass, and then we have the E chord, minor chord, the dominant seventh, and then diminished seventh, which is all this outside line here. They're all diminished sevenths, or whatever note it is in that particular diagonal row. If you remember, we started off with the um, the home row, where the little depression is on the C. And of course, you can see I'm, I have to find it. I've got it. So that is the C diagonal row going up there. So I'm going to move in a bit closer. Hope to get this all in. So the C diagonal row there. And we were talking about Odeo with Kamata, and it started on the third row down, which is one, two, three. So it's that diagonal row is the D row. And then the second note in there is the bass. So that's the D bass. And you can check again. If you're ever in doubt, you can make sure it sounds exactly the same as the D on the keyboard. There's the D there, the bass note, and then the chord of D, one above. And then we were going up to the A diagonal row there. Again, the A bass is the second one in from the bellows. So that's your A. Just to give you a sort of uh, a reference point of the note on the keyboard and the note on the bass and then of course the chord is the next one in major chord so oh dear what can the matter be was built on the d and then the a above and you notice that i'm using my fourth and third fingers on all of these very very basic changes of bass chord the reason being for that is you might want to save this finger for more when you come to do more a more complicated sort of chord change. So it's best to leave it with this because you might want to go um, uh, trying to do a proper change here. Hang on. I have to feel my way. Idea. That's quite a standard sort of uh, accompaniment in accordion playing that you would probably have heard. You have to excuse me fiddling with that a bit because I actually haven't played anything like that. I consider that to be very advanced for where I am at the moment. So I'm just doing a bass and a chord, a bass and a chord on Oh Dear, What Can The Matter Be? The other thing I didn't say also is that this strap here, um, some of you will have an adjuster on the top like a little dial which will bring that strap in close enough for you to be comfortable but you can still move your hand up, quickly up and down this keyboard, the, the bass keyboard here um, but not so loose that you're having to come out here to, to bring the bellows out um, and as you notice I wasn't doing very well on bellows, it's something I've got to work on um, and if I show you their button, I mean there's a lot, there's an awful lot of range there for me to use the bellows and I was being a bit of a, uh, I don't know, a custard and I was only going back that far. 
so that's something I've got to work on. So I'm going to have another go at, um, oh dear, what can the matter be? And hopefully there's going to be some improvement here. Um, we'll see how I go. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that was uh, the sort of second attempt at doing Odeon, what can the matter be? And I think next time I do a video blog, I'm going to have to learn a new tune, otherwise you're going to be uh, strangling me, and I don't blame you. And uh, I shall be monitoring my progress, the same as you. Uh, this could be an interesting journey. My next blog will fill in some of the gaps. Uh, there's always, every time you do one of these, you think of things you wish you had said. So if there's anything I've missed now, just bear with me. I'll try and address that on the next one, which will be part three. Bye for now.